Hey guys, what's up? Joe Paris here. Now in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the top seven books that will make you rich. And these seven books are the exact books that I have used to help me earn more than a million dollars in profit selling online courses from my laptop. Now, I want you to know that simply reading these books isn't going to make you rich. It's the application of the knowledge that produces the result. So what that means is you have to take action. And if you aren't one of the best readers like myself, you can always just listen to the audio versions of the book. I personally love listening to books on two times the speed. That way I'm able to learn faster and read more books each and every year. I even linked in the description for you guys a special gift. If you click the link below, you can get two free Audible books using Audible for free. And even if you cancel your subscription, you can still keep the books. I also have a kit link with all the Amazon links to the books that I will recommend in this video and the 40 other personal development books that are going to help you on your journey. So if you're ready to learn which seven books will help you become rich, then smash that like button and let's get started. The first book is called Think and Grow Rich. Now, the first time I read this book, my whole life began to shift. And what I learned from this book is that all you have to do is start thinking first and then growing rich. Now, that sounds too good to be true. And I wanna share with you a personal story about how I actually did this for the first time. When I was in college, I wanted this big screen TV and surround sound system. I don't know, I was 20, insecure, and I thought that maybe the girls would like me then if I had this. Now that ended up not being the truth, but I did learn a very valuable lesson about money. You see, I was a broke college kid. I was working a job making, I think, $8 an hour. So for me to achieve this goal of a big screen TV and surround sound system, I knew I had to start thinking out of the box. This is when I stumbled upon making money online. And literally one month later, I had my big screen TV and surround sound system. But the point was is that I first had an idea, a thought. I literally was thinking and then I grew rich. And in this first chapter, the chapter is on desire, okay? Desire, that is the first step to riches. You have to desire riches and you have to tell the universe exactly how much you want. From there, you then start taking action. So it goes thoughts, feelings, actions, results. So the first thing and the first step in your journey to becoming rich just as it says here in the book, is to think and desire riches. The second book that's going to help you become rich and has helped me dramatically in my life is called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Now, Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a book written by Robert Kiyosaki. And when he first wrote the first version of this book, it was very how-to, meaning do this, do that, step by step, and that book failed. It actually didn't sell very many copies. But what he did next, being a smart entrepreneur, changed his life and also the lives of millions of people. You see, Robert learned that people don't want to be told what to do. They want to learn through stories. So he took the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and wrote it as a storytelling book. So in the book, he tells the story of his two dads, the one rich dad and the one poor dad and how both dads had completely different ideas about money. They also had completely different belief systems, and this is something I wanna teach you in this video. If you believe that money is the root of all evil, that rich people are jerks, or that being rich, people are just gonna always ask you for money, and that being rich is a bad thing, are you ever going to really truly attract true abundance and riches into your life? Most likely not. The reason is simply because of your beliefs. Now, if you were to change your belief and say to yourself, hey, rich people are givers. Rich people typically have more freedom in life. Rich people are able to help more people. They're able to spend more time with their families. They're able to travel. They run their own businesses. Hey, maybe I should start thinking like a rich person. Maybe I should start believing and changing my beliefs to those of someone who is rich. If you do something like this, I'm telling you, like night and day, you're gonna start to attract more money into your life. And this is exactly what happened to me. I started changing my entire belief system. I stopped working a nine to five job. I quit my job and then I started earning passive income. I then started earning 
multiple sources of income. In fact, I have a whole video teaching you exactly how to do this. So make sure to check that out. But while you're here, stay here and let's get into the next book that can help you become rich. My third favorite book to help you become rich is called The Richest Man in Babylon. Did you know that ancient Babylonians used to be some of the richest people in the world? And in this book, they teach you the principles of what the ancient Babylonians did. There's the five laws of gold, and one of the principles that I've been able to implement is called the 10% rule. Now, I'm gonna dive into this a little bit, but not give away everything, but basically the 10% rule says this, 10% of all you earn is yours to keep. So let's say you make $1,000 a month. 10% of that would be $100, that's yours to keep. Meaning, that's yours to do what you choose to do with it. If you wanna invest in it, you can do that. If you wanna take your you know, family or friends out on a nice dinner, you can do that. But that money is yours. The rest of it is gonna be used for your businesses, it's going to be used to pay the bills, it's gonna be used for everything else in your life. What this does is it separates what you need and your necessities versus your wants. And when you have this separation, it takes all of the pressure and stress off of earning money. Now there's so much more that this book goes into, so I'd highly recommend reading it. The Richest Man in Babylon was one of my favorites. The fourth book is called The Millionaire Booklet and it's written by Grant Cardone. Now I've been to Grant Cardone's 10X conferences in Miami and I was at his recent one in Las Vegas and they are awesome. Grant knows what he's talking about. Now, he can be kind of a controversial figure at times, I understand that, but this little booklet that's only about 50 pages can help you make a million dollars and he teaches you step by step how to do it. One of my favorite chapters in that book is called Increasing Your Income. The biggest mistake I see people making these days is that they don't find ways to increase their income. All they do is they work a job nine to five every day and they only have that one source of income. They don't work on the skills or side hustles and they don't better themselves to actually take more action and increase their income. Another way to actually increase your income is to start a side hustle or to create an extra flow of income and this is what Grant teaches you in the book. Currently in my business today, I have more than 100 different sources of income. Every single one of my online courses counts as a source of income. I'm also an ambassador for a company called Epidemic Sound. I'm also an affiliate for Amazon. I also make money off of my own social media like TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. And I also earn money through my coaching and consulting services, mentoring people just like you. I teach ambitious people how to create and sell their own online courses and how to use their knowledge and expertise to literally earn passive income to become financially independent. If this is something you're interested in, check the link down below. I have a free 45 minute training showing you exactly how I'm able to do all of this. Now the next book to help you become rich is called You Were Born Rich and this is by Bob Proctor. Bob Proctor has been a mentor of mine for many years and he's an absolute genius when it comes to making money. In his book, he basically says, you have all the resources locked up within you right now to help you become rich. And he teaches you how to unlock your fullest potential. This book is a must read if you're really interested in learning more about yourself and how then you can take your earnings and income to an entirely new level. Now the next book and one of my favorites is called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And Stephen Covey does an amazing job sharing with you all of the different habits that highly effective, successful people do and why they do them. One of my favorite habits in his book is called Begin With The End In Mind. As you can see here, you begin with the end in mind and what that means is, is before you even get started on the thing that you're trying to achieve, in our case, achieving more money in our life, you have to start with what it would be like if you actually achieved it first. That way you can reverse engineer everything so it's very clear to you exactly what you need to do step by step. Most people just set out on a journey and they have no clear destination. When you begin with the end in mind, you have a clear destination of where you wanna go and that way it becomes that much easier for you to take the journey step by step and eventually reach your end goal. The next book I absolutely love is called The Secret by Rhonda Byrne and the secret in this book talks about the law of attraction. The law of attraction basically says that like energy attracts like energy. And when I first read this book, I started to attract the number one thing I wanted in my life, 
which was a girlfriend. So what I did every day was think about the type of girlfriend that I wanted, what she would look like, what activities we would do together, what were some of the things we would have in common, where we would go, what kind of dates we would go on. And all of a sudden, this person started to come into my life. Literally two weeks later, I had multiple girls text messaging me, asking me to hang out, and eventually I ended up with a girlfriend. So if you're not a believer in this law of attraction thing, trust me, this can really change your life, and it gave me a whole new idea of how to attract money into my life. You see, money is literally nothing but a tool, and it's something that you attract into your life by using the law of attraction. So how do you use the law of attraction to attract money in your life? What you need to do is start putting out good frequencies and good vibes towards money. Basically, you say things like, I have a lot of money, I am rich, I am wealthy, I am abundant, and then you live that and you truly be that person, even if it's not showing up in your life. The longer that you do this, you'll begin to start attracting different circumstances, people, places, and things into your life that are going to help you earn that money. This is exactly what happened to me with my girlfriend. I literally ended up in college thinking about this, and then we went on dates, and then we started to actually hang out more, and we started talking. But at first, I didn't have a girlfriend. I literally had to quote unquote, fake it till I made it. And the law of attraction is working for you or against you whether you're aware of it or not. So which books are you going to read? And don't tell me you don't have any time to read because literally I'm going to be giving you two free audiobooks that you can use. The link is also in the description, so make sure to check that out. All right guys, thanks again so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and make sure to turn on the bell to be notified the next time I create and launch a new video here on our YouTube channel. And make sure again to check out the links down below. And if you wanna continue learning with me today right now, check out my next videos coming up. Stay tuned. Yeah. Yeah.